Yeah, I mean, I, I think we both feel quite positive about the state of architecture. As, as, as well as, I guess I'm a little uncomfortable even talking about the state of architecture as a sense, but I think we're both excited to be a part of it. I mean, I, I could say uh, that academically, there are probably bigger issues uh, regarding pedagogy right now. And in fact, you know, all of these discussions around technologies and digital fabrication um, are a bit problematic because um, you know, now there's a, you know, a real investment in this idea of making and, and making meaning everything. And uh, you know, I think there's a general concern that there could be a dearth of, of ideas uh, given a sort of privileging of technologies. So, I mean, I for one, I mean, I think it's very exciting that, again, that all of this is moving out of the hypothetical and actually that it's, it, it's engaged in practice and people are, are actually doing things because um, it, it won't be too long. In fact, maybe we, we've already reached the point where the discussion of the technology will be irrelevant for example, and in fact, we'll be re re really revisiting the idea of the design itself rather than talking about how it was made, the process by which you arrived at how it was made, for example. And uh, you know, I think at that point, even in academia, things will, things will change you know, quite significantly. I think that's a very important point. I think we have reached or will soon reach the point at which it's not just a novelty anymore and it's not enough just that you can do it, but you have to have some kind of meaning behind what you're doing, and I think that's really, really crucial. I think uh, one of the reasons why we enjoy making the pieces like, like this door with people is because um, when it, you're talking about architecture, the time frame is so much longer, the commitment from the client side is huge, I and mean, it's a lot of money that goes into even a small project, and um, be able, being able to make these uh, smaller pieces and do them ourselves means that we can have a certain amount of gratification and test things without having to go with the larger full-scale pieces. So when a lot of the work that we do, um, instead of, you know, in lieu of having a client and being able to do a full-on architecture project is, you know, these, these smaller pieces. And we do kind of, we work on them alongside all of these other competitions and other things we do. So there's a lot of um, cross-pollination between the two sides that I think is incredibly helpful in keeping what Shane's talking about and keeping this uh, level between not just having a, uh, a practice that's more of a commercial practice but having something that is much more based in research. Mm -hmm. So that's our, that's our intention over time is to really be able to do the small scale and the larger scale both in real projects and in competition form just to be able to keep ourselves um, balanced in that way. I think that the door is really kind of a representation of the work that's going to be produced at a research lab that I have at the University of Toronto, and uh, in particular, it's uh, the way that it's fabricated. It kind of embraces um, sort of the vestigial marks of machining as well as uh, the kind of patterning that's afforded through kind of rather unique lamination te techniques. So in this case, there's an oblique lamination that, that results in a very interesting field reading. Uh, on one side of the door, well, actually on both sides of the door, with one side of the door being uh, the outside and having a very sharp seam that essentially has got less welcoming for someone who's kind of engaging the, uh, the door. I would say that probably the door uh, represents a certain belief that there's an appropriate area for these tech technologies and sometimes uh, you know, it's it's difficult to translate all of these interests in CAD CAM to a large building scale, mm -hmm. and so often I think that um, you know we don't necessarily in, engage design problems thinking necessarily about well how can we machine the entire thing using a router. It seems that it's a it's a rather silly concept actually that everyone wants to translate all of these technologies radically to different scales when in fact there are much different and better technologies for those scales. So to some degree, first of all, I think is to, is, is to kind of wrap our head around what the capabilities are with these technologies, but also kind of to to kind of appreciate that there's a very there, there, there are very focused moments in each of our projects for which these things have a, a particular place. Inevitably, architects like to think about making spaces, and so if the machine that you're using has a bed that's at 18 inches by 24 inches by 10 inches high, you, you're going to try to pack in as many ideas into that space as you possibly can. I think it's stepping back from there and realizing what the limits of the machinery are and the limits of you know the design for that scale are that are that is the appropriate thing to find. This this award is really fantastic. Yet yeah, it's only in architecture that you get an award and it means that you have to work harder 
<laughs> and actually produce something for the award itself. And so as exciting as it was, all of a sudden it, it produced a rather intense moment where we had to kind of produce the piece for the exhibition, prepare our lecture. And so there's, it seems to be unforgiving in that way. Uh, uh, I mean, it's very enjoyable to do things and to produce things. I mean, design um, is gratifying. I mean, so like, I mean, even our, you know, our move to a freestanding practice, I mean, I think we're being quite careful because we, you know, we're quite interested in maintaining a design and research practice. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, we're concerned about sustaining income, which is, a, I think, of a tremendous concern to a lot of young practices. Um, and right now, we have uh, security through income through institutional means, mine through the university, and not so much institutional, but through Shem Sleckless right now. And um, kind of that is a bit of trepidation, not to deal with our architecture, which is just a, you know, a breadwinning exercise, but kind of keeping a certain integrity which is really important to us.